Uh, welcome in. Uh, hey guys, uh, I'm Patrick Milligan. Uh, I'm a senior product lead here at Shopify and I lead the new customer accounts and login mission. Um, I'm very excited to be sharing with you my masterclass talk digitally after sharing a masterclass at editions.dev, which was this crazy whirlwind experience that I think everyone was there and knows what it was like. Um, before I was at Shopify, a little bit about me, um, I was a merchant on the platform for 10 years and I was one of those people offering, you know, feedback or, you know, complaining about the platform. Um, and four years ago, I joined Shopify and now I get the surreal experience to R&D this area with a ton of uh, wonderful, talented Shopify folk. And one of those people is Graham, who I'll let him introduce himself. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Graham, as Patrick said. Um, I'm a senior product manager on the customer accounts team. Uh, focused on the developer experience. Uh, so making sure that all the app developers that are building into customer accounts are getting the best possible experience. Um, a little bit of background about me and how I ended up here. Um, before I was at Shopify, I was actually working at three different apps over my career um, as a product manager. So much like Patrick, I've been on the other side, giving all the feedback to Shopify. Now I'm the person that gets to receive all that wonderful feedback and then deliver and make everyone happy. So um, yeah, really exciting to be here um, and excited to take you through uh, what's going on with customer accounts. All right, so uh, why are we here? Um, and what are we gonna talk about today? Okay, so we've got a lot of great questions. Um, I'll be taking the first two, which are the kind of two most spiritual questions that I've been asked about customer accounts over the last four years. Um, I'll flip it to Graham, who'll tell you what's recently been shipped and go into a little bit of the details there. And then I'll wrap up and tell you what's coming next on our roadmap, which will be fun. All right. So for the first two questions, all right, first spiritual question that I get asked all the time, which is like, why do brands care deeply about customer accounts? So I want you to do is I want you to put your customer hat on. And remember that last time that you called in for customer support and you got put on hold or you sent an email for something urgent and you didn't get the email right away, right? You didn't get a response that you needed. Um, that feeling you feel when you feel like stuck, we have actually a name for that at Shopify. It's called toil. And uh, we, we like eliminating toil, right? We want to eliminate that experience. And brands really believe that they can eliminate that toil with customer accounts by giving people things to do themselves, right? And they can make that experience a bit, a bit better for everybody. And really the way that translates is um, that experience, it's, it's annoying for the customer, but it's also really expensive for the merchant because they're taking the time, the merchant, the customer is getting frustrated. And actually we went in 2025, at the beginning of the year, we um, went and surveyed all of our, our merchants. So big merchants, medium-sized merchants, small merchants, all that thing. And we asked them, what do you care about? And not surprisingly, and I don't think anyone here would be surprised, that profitability is everything, right? So if you see here, you know, two of the top ones is ensuring profitability and reducing operating costs. And just actually three weeks ago, I was in New York City and I was meeting with the 20 top CTOs of our top largest brands at Shopify. And I asked them, why are you investing in customer uh, accounts? Why are you doing this? And they said, hey, we just want to make the experience better. And we want to re remove that toil from um, our, our customers. And we want to make our customer support team way more set up for success. And I think to give you a sense of the size of the opportunity, I have a better video for, from Harley here. Look, in 2024, 875 million consumers bought off a Shopify store. That's like one in six internet users. One in six internet users are shopping with our merchants. Okay, and that was in 2024, right? Really to think deeply about it and how I think about it, how I think all of you should be thinking about this is that's 875 million customer accounts. That's the size of the opportunity when you develop on customer accounts um, and uh, the impact that you can really make for our merchants. Second spiritual question. Uh, why build something new, like new customer accounts, instead of improving the old? And really the way that you think I need to think about it is that new customer accounts really enables you to build a unified and secure experience. Um, if you look at the legacy customer account experience, we often saw, and I think all of us have gone across these different websites where you know you log in to go to a merchant's brand, and as a customer, you go to a unique subscription portal with its own login to manage your subscription. And then you go to return unique returns portal to manage your returns or a unique loyalty portal, a unique wishlist portal. And ultimately this was fragmenting the buyer experience and uh, creating a terrible uh, uh, arduous experience for those customers. With new customer accounts, um, we actually are able to unify that experience and make it super secure so that all your customers just have to log in one time and go to, they can really easily access their subscriptions 
returns, loyalty, and wish lists, et cetera. The other big reason that we built something new is because we felt like the enablement and maintenance cost was just way too freaking expensive when doing legacy. So I was talking to many people at Editions about this exact problem. And they were saying, hey, every six months, my merchant, um, you know, for our agency folks out there, they were saying, hey, every six months for my merchants, they want to do a, a fresh new redesign of a custom theme and everything like this. And when customer accounts is included in that and you have all these vendors or apps that you're using to scale your customer experience, every single time you're reinterrogating and redesigning that experience and customers don't want that. They want to know how to expect to do their subscriptions or returns every single time. And so we really thought deeply about that. And the big thing that we did is that because new customer accounts is extensible, because it's a structured experience that developers can count on every single time, that means that when functionality is built um, for customer accounts, it can be instantly transported to every single uh, store using it. And so what this means is that when someone has an experience, they can really dial in that enable experience, enablement experience instead of it being you know, tons of emails and reviews and going back and forth in the experience. It's simply you can toggle on the functionality that the uh, that the developer has built for the merchant really easy, and that ultimately makes the enablement costs you know go from months to minutes. Um, the other thing that you have to think about here is that um, extensions really are the future of customer experience. Um, you've already seen us add extensions to checkout. You've seen us add it to the thank you page and order status page, and that same experience is consistent. So as you're developing these experiences. Um, across customer accounts know that you're able to develop the same, use the same developer stack across checkout, thank you page, order status page, and take the same approach for the buyer's experience. So where are we at today on this mission? So it's like, hey, Patrick, I get that you have this, <laughs> this thing that um, uh, uh, merchants really want this. I get that they are um, able to really drive profitability and create a better experience. I get that new customer accounts is going to be this really way easier thing for us to manage at scale. Um, but where are we at in that, that mission? And um, one of the things I can tell you that was really exciting is that as we've been sharing this, we've been building in public. You know, we build what we think is the, 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 the most important things and we've been sequencing along the way. And uh, I, I think I really uh, look at like this quote because when we first launched customer accounts and it didn't work with apps and we didn't have those vendors um, and didn't have as many features, we had, you know, these quotes uh, and people would come at us and be like, I don't know if I, I can trust this, right? Because it seems like you'd have to build so much in order to establish the new platform. Um, and what we're really excited about is that We've been really launching so many things that I think people have really started to understand and see where we're going. And I have this great quote, which is, you know, from a, an agency that really was a really big hater of the new customer accounts when it came out. And now he's saying, hey, I do have to say when the customer account journey first started, I was not super optimistic, but man, you guys really shipped a lot this year. And I did not anticipate being able to move anyone over, but have mo uh, moved a few and really very few complaints. I think that just speaks to at Shopify every six months, we have another edition and we're shipping 10, you know, a dozen new updates. And um, when Graham gives his talk, you'll see the, the, the many updates we just made at this last edition. Um, the other big thing to really understand is that new customer accounts has momentum right now. Um, I think in, uh, in December, we told everybody, hey, 50% of our Shopify merchants are using new customer accounts. Six months later, 63% of our merchant base are using new customer accounts. And so you can see that this is where this is going, which represents such a large developer opportunity because the apps that have built for new customer accounts are the ones that are gonna be all of these legacy or alternative, all the merchants that are using legacy or alternative or no customer accounts are gonna be moving over and they're gonna be choosing apps um, um, to, to, to use uh, with their new customer accounts. So um, that gives you a good sense of where we're going. We're really excited. We've got more to build and I'll, I'll wrap up at the end and tell you about what's happening next. But I'm gonna pass the mic to Graham who is going to walk you through what's recently shipped. Thanks a ton, Patrick. Um, so as you mentioned, I'm going to walk you through what's recently shipped. And um, you know, customer accounts is in this phase where there's so much to build. Um, we really have to be super, super, um, stringent about what we actually go and decide to do. Um, but really our goal is to just move as much velocity as we possibly can, ship as much value we can to merchants, to developers, to buyers that are um, interacting with these portals. So I'm gonna take you through a couple of the, the highlights that we ship um, over the last edition and over this most recent edition. 
Um, so first, last edition, um, we went into that edition knowing that the number one request that merchants had for new customer accounts um, that we heard over and over and over again was the ability to customize the experience uh, with apps. You can imagine the old version of legacy customer accounts. You could customize whatever you wanted with Liquid, but it introduced this really brittle framework. Um, and extensions is the new way that we proposed um, to go forward where that would be something that Developers can update, merchants get those updates for free, and everything will work together all the time, no matter what. Um, so at the last edition, we released customer account extensions. We released along alongside 40 app partners. There's over 500 apps in the App Store now that support customer account extensions. And what these really do is enable merchants to embed their favorite apps into customer account pages as extensions, or even add entirely new pages to their customer account experience. Again, this goes beyond unifying all these previously previously disparate portals into one experience. Um, it's something bigger than that. And Toby said it best when we launched this, he tweeted about it and that's the tweet you can see on the screen now. Um, this opens up a whole new opportunity for developers to build on Shopify's. It's not just about recreating experiences that were already possible and porting over the experience you had before, but this opens up an opportunity to completely reimagine what the customer account experience looks like. And especially for app developers, what are those new possibilities? And it opens up an entirely new set of things um, that you can do with customer accounts. Now, coming away from that launch, we realized merchants would have a uh, lot of trouble finding the apps that worked with customer accounts. We knew that they would deeply care about being able to find these apps when they're migrating from legacy to new. The first thing that most merchants do is start looking through their apps and make sure that their apps that they have are compatible with the new version of customer accounts. So with all of this demand and with merchants um, caring a lot about this uh, problem, we added a new filter to the Shopify app store that features all of these apps more prominently. So there's a filter that you can see on, on the screen as well um, that allows a merchant to filter by apps that specifically include customer account extensions. Um, this is pretty special because this is just one of three non-category filters in the Shopify app store, which makes it easier for merchants to find you, which as a developer is the most important thing. You wanna be able to build something that merchants can find, merchants can use, and we wanna make that as easy as possible. So we shipped this new app filter. Next, um, Horizon. This was released at the this most recent edition, um, but there's an important update here for customer account um, developers and theme app developers. So legacy accounts is now actually optional in uh, in Horizon. So we didn't ship legacy account support in Horizon. Um, and it only supports new customer accounts. So again, this is just a signal from our group that all of our investment and all of our energy is going towards new customer accounts and making the experience as good as possible for merchants, shoppers, and developers. Now, as a developer, you don't have to worry about supporting old and new. Focusing on the new is where most of the value is going to be, and that's where the merchants are going, and that's where our investment is going as well. Next, in a similar category, um, we started opening up more and more opportunities and accounts for developers to build into. So um, something that we hear a lot is previously, before this edition, there was actually no way to disable the default buy again button. This is something that's, it's a great native experience. Um, it fits most merchants most of the time, but we can all appreciate that there's always going to be merchants that will have unique needs and unique customizations that they need in order to make that buy again button work in customer accounts. So we decided to make this native feature something that could be disabled, which opens up an entirely new category of apps that can easily take over this space. Um, again, in order to support merchants better moving over to customer accounts, give them more customizations and just making it really easy to swap out uh, that buy again button with an extension. Next, um, again, opening up even more opportunities in the space, um, we shipped a new footer extension target in customer accounts. Uh, so we did this um, for one project where we, we were opening up uh, the ability for cookie banners to show up in customer accounts. Um, but we, what we realized with this target, it ac can actually be used for many different use cases and it appears across all of the pages on customer accounts. So for app developers, this again, it unlocks a whole new category of apps, a whole new experience, a whole new way of interacting with accounts and apps integrating with accounts um, that weren't possible before. Next, um, Polaris Web Components. So this was another huge release at additions that customer accounts was one piece of. Um, so this is a unified UI toolkit that now works seamlessly across all Shopify services, including admin, 
checkout, and customer accounts. The new Polaris is significantly smaller, it's significantly faster than its predecessor, and works intuitively with any framework. So as a developer, you don't need to be forced to use React or whichever framework that Shopify dictates. You can use the tools that you're familiar with and it makes that it that much easier for you to build extensions across all of these surfaces. So you can ki kind of see a theme here that we're going through with what we've shipped. We opened up all of these new possibilities and we're making it even easier for developers to capitalize on those opportunities and move into those spaces um, even quicker. Last, but certainly not least in the highlights of what we've shipped over the last year um, is the customer accounts MCP server is now in early access. So as we all know, buyers are getting more and more familiar with talking to AI agents on storefronts um, across all these different um, mediums. So we think it's going to be a really big part of the commerce experience as well. So we released an MCP tool, it's now in early access that allows AI agents to manage order and account details on behalf of an authenticated customer. So imagine you go into your favorite LLM and you can actually give it the ability to manage orders on your behalf. Again, this is very new, it's very exciting and it represents an entirely new way for buyers to engage with merchants. So we're keeping it in early access for now, but this is something that we'll be continuously iterating on and adding value to um, over the next little while. And to that end, uh, I'll pass it back to Patrick to talk a little bit more about What's coming up next? Patrick, back to you. Cool, thanks Graham, uh, fun stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go straight into it. I've got three updates to close this out. The first one to keep in mind, if you're an app developer and you really wanna make sure that you can pay attention to saying, hey, what are the built for Shopify guidelines for customer accounts? I'm gonna simplify a lot of it for you. Um, the first thing is what we really wanna see is we wanna see that your app is using customer account UI extensions. So we have the legacy customer accounts, don't build for legacy customer accounts, build for the new customer accounts and use our customer account UI extensions. The other thing that I would tell you is no separate portals or punch outs. What I mean by that is build your core workflow for customers in new customer accounts. Don't build your experience somewhere else and simply just link to it from customer accounts. That's not gonna get you set up for built for Shopify. <clears throat> the second big one here is that Hey guys, I, I've been beating this drum online and on Twitter for two, three years now, but like we named it legacy customer accounts for a reason. We will deprecate legacy customer accounts. I don't have a timeline yet. For now, we're focused on making new customer accounts better in every single way. And we've got a great roadmap. I think that's gonna get us there, but know that, hey, we are going to uh, deprecate legacy customer accounts eventually. And when we do that, uh, we'll be really loud about it and, and make sure you have plenty of time to switch over. All right, next thing here is the roadmap will continue on uh, later this year. Um, we've got all sorts of things that are in flight and we're always looking for new opportunities to get us to where we think that this platform should go. And some of the things to expect is we are r and pixels to be brought to customer accounts um, pages and the login pages. We're really working towards that. Another one that people have requested all the time is saying, hey, can you get us social logins? Can you get us additional login methods? We've got that coming. Um, we're really working on making the login page more customizable. Um, and of course, another one is we want our your buyers or, or, or customers to be able to um, edit their email and phone number directly within their account. And of course, the last thing that always has space on their roadmap is what you want. Um, and I mean that really uh, deeply is that our roadmap is driven by the requests from our developers and merchants. And we really want to hear that. And we're really excited to, to always tell you any of that. And we make ourselves super accessible, whether it's on Twitter and the Shopify community forum or the partner Slack, we're here to talk to you. And so I think that's what I've got. And I just want to say, hey, thanks for watching uh, this. I don't know if there's like a like and subscribe uh, thing I'm supposed to say, but uh, much love and excited to see you in the, uh, in the online Shopiverse. Cheers, guys.